You approach a hooded figure swathed in dark blue robes. Their face is barely visible. Fisherman, please help. You can barely hear their rasping whisper above the wind and waves. Fulfill the hunger. The hooded figure unfurls an old paper scroll. They point to a shape shown at the top. It appears to be a blue mackerel. Let me go get you a mackerel, dude. Where'd those fucking mackerel go? Okay, oh, right there. We're gonna have to stay out all night because I don't think we're anywhere near the Gale Cliffs. Oh, I thought this was the Gale Cliffs. This is just a little island. Nah, he's gotta be extra. Gotcha. Fill the hunger. The hooded unfurled scroll. The point toward. Yep. You can have a blue mackerel, my guy. Extra precision. They plunge their hand through the gullet of the fish and tear out the heart. They stuffed in their mouth unceremoniously. More still empty. They point to another shape on the second scroll. This one looks like a tiger mackerel. Okay, my guy. Um, You have fun. I'm gonna figure out what I can do here. Um... Can I make it back over here in time? To rest. We gon' we gonna panic, because I need to get there quickly. Oh fuck, the other boats are out. What's this shiny on the... What the fuck is that? Another one of the things that doesn't respond to my touch. Ah, uh, interesting. Still uh, mysterious. Now it's lit up. Sudden chill rushes through the marrow of your bones, searching up your neck. A deep vision enters your mind. Dark rock erupts from the earth, piercing through buildings and trees, through sand and crashing waves, the basalt pillars of this island. The newborn structure crack, cr structures crack with an unknown energy, crimson lightning arcing between them. The earth shift once more, and the stones lie still. Okay, so they, they tell you things at night. Cool. The other uh, boats are calling for me, so I'm going to rest. Yeah. Oh, we're not using crab pots right now, so we're just going to do that. Right now. What is the workshop? Workshop looks like it hasn't been used in decades. Go inside. You enter, taking a moment to let your eyes adjust to the dim light. What do you want to do in here? Pick up items. You find some horrifying creations among the debris. Sign of ruin. <laughs> oh. Symbol of the deep is carved into this small talisman. It's sure to draw the attention of those attuned to it. And an arterial mean? engine. The bones of this grotesque engine are driven by a pulsing heart. It beats in time with your own. Huh. Let's go. What is my current engine? 
14 kilonauts. Or knots. I guess it's just knots, not kilonauts. I don't know why I said kilonauts. I'm tired. <laughs> um, we're going to put these in storage and not install them. Yet. Well, the engine is just worse than our current one. Hmm. It might it might be additive, but yeah, it's it's like straight up worse than our current one. If anything happens to our current engine, it might be nice to have a backup. Okay, so those islands far in the distance are what we're going towards. I can see a talon over there, though. We're heading towards it. Ooh. People are currently fighting in the hallway. Ah. Uh, the joy of neighbors. Apparently, someone knows what the fuck someone's talking about. Why are there red lights in the water that are constantly at a certain distance from me. I don't know, and I would like to express my discomfort with them. We have now passed them, but they're still there. They're still behind me. Don't like that. It takes an entire day just to get to Gale Cliffs, let alone to dredge up to anything over here. Holy shit. Well, let's grab that bottle while we're uh while we're over here. Yeah, might as well. What kind of fish you got? Oceanic Perch, who have a completely different fishing minigame. Interesting. Well, I can see where the next thing is. And there's a giant water spout. Great. <laughs> Not our friend. Artifact manifest added to cabin. Fuck is over there. I'm not going towards that. Last time we went towards one of those big lights, we got attacked by something. Like tentacles hit us. And I don't like it. Yeah, we don't need that right now. I am not... I am not talking to anybody in Infel right now. That's not happening. Nope, we're leaving. Goodbye. Okay, we already have those. That looks like a dredge spot right there. And there's another dredge spot right there. I see it. I can see the little red particles coming from it. So that's the story dredge. Ooh, what's this? Metal scraps. We need those. Scrap is nice. salvage hopefully the 
lock or whatever we're looking for for that key is not so big that we have to... What is there? <coughs> Something just made a very loud noise and my controller is rumbling like crazy. I don't like that. I can't get to it because it needs explosives. <laughs> so we'll dock right, here. Then. Old man just emerges from one of the nearby broken buildings and hobbles towards you. Ah. Oh, uh, greetings. Don't get many visitors around here. What is it you need? No, I can clear the debris. Ah. Hmm, you probably need some explosives to ship those rocks. My brother at Ingfell used to, make, used to make explosives. For the whaling operations, you see. Nasty stuff, but with the whales all gone, I can't imagine he's still in business. What else do you want to know? Why do you live here? I have been stubbornly holding out here for quite some time. Truth be told, I've been reconsidering my position lately. Been happy here for so long. My wife and I had such a beautiful life until the collapse. Now I'm alone and cut off by land and sea, left only with these trembling rocks on all sides. I can help you move. It's not that simple. My brother would never. You see, I used to live in Ingfell with my brother. He was a whaler back in the day. Things were bad. We fought a lot. Mostly about how our parents' inheritance should be divided. We were in the prime foolishness of our youth. When my wife and I decided to move here, I took the family crest. I stole it from him. Now, after all this time, I can't return without it. Where is it? That's where the problem was. After the collapse, that creature it dragged debris from the houses down in the wretched burrows. The crest went with it. It's a lost cause, I know, but if we were to find it, it's a large whalebone crest. It would mean the world to me. Thank you, but please be careful. Okay. Ooh, all right then. No, I don't have any research parts. All right, so now we have to talk to somebody at Ingfell about explosives. And what creature, huh? Riddle me this, Batman. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Blackmouth salmon. Another fucking water spout. Oh, you can see the lighthouse all the way from here. Wow. That's some distance. Retired whaler. What is it? Or do you used to make explosives? I did. Sometimes the carcasses needed breaking up. It wasn't the most efficient or the most pleasant, but I got the job done. Think about getting back into it. Might be able to rustle up something strong enough to clear those debris piles on the cliffs. Nah, yeah, but I'm not sure. I don't have much. I don't have the energy these days. Really, I'd have use for explosives like that. All right, I'll think on some more, but I make no promises. Anything else? See you later. I'm not. I'm not doing a quest right now. No. We have so much on our plate right now, and all the fish that I caught are gonna rot. Yeah. Yeah, they're all rotten. Storage is starting to fill up, too. All right, let's head back to town. See if we find anything interesting. There's those red lights again. They seem to be here, in this fishing spot. Which we do not have the right equipment for.
This is a really good game for CNC, though. It's like, yeah, you can push yourself for days at a time, but you're gonna do a lot better if you, like, rest regularly and find checkpoints and stuff like that. This, this game has a good sense of movement. I like it. I, I just meant it was a nice, kind of chill game, not that there was a... Like a mechanic thing that made it good for CNC. That is also true. Considering the days are so short, it actually would make terrible if I did day to day yeah. episodes. I like it, it's pretty chill. Outside of, you know, when things attack me. Yeah, exactly. It's definitely getting broader, but... Ugh, blinding headache today. Did you come by yesterday? I don't recall. Anyway, what can I do for you? Yeah, we're gonna sell this, because it's rotting. We're gonna sell this, and this, and this. Oh, Tornado Valley started moving east. Right. <sighs> Tornado Alley, not Valley. Jeez. It'd be weird if a valley just moved. It definitely would. At least in a way that we would... That would be observable in a human lifetime. So, I researched this motor. It is so much faster than my other motor. Oh, I... We are uninstalling this. This goes to storage for now. Four hours to install. No, you know what I mean. If, like, the Grand Canyon just suddenly was five miles to the, to the east. Yeah. Yeah. It would definitely be strange. Like if like last year, it was just like, oh, the, the Grand Canyon this year has been found to be five miles further east than it was before. Adjust your maps. <laughs> that's some, uh, that's creepy. I like it. That's, that's a good idea for some weird, weird shit in a in an isolated town okay we're gonna take this because i we need we need more light at night we need we need so much more light and then i can i sell this no yeah i can't sell the peculiar engine We have all the stuff for two more cargo spaces. Oh, modifies four rod spaces to, oh, modifies rod space of already existing rod spaces, okay. Yeah, we, we want this, so. Engine spaces or a light space. Oh. I'm going to say the light space so we can get the halogen engine or halogen light. 
Oh, we're so close. We need one piece of wood. Well, <laughs> once more onto the deep. Oh, we are much faster. Wow. That's actually a problem at night. That's actually really going to be a problem at night. Ooh. Uh, well, all the more incentive to get shit done during the daylight hours, I guess. Because the faster we are, it means we're going to slam into rocks that appear in front of us much easier. Uh-huh. <coughs> my love, could I have a drink? Absolutely, my dear. Oop, fucked up fish. Let's see what it is. Any eyed mackerel. Okay. Oh, there's another shipwreck over here. We can probably pull some stuff out of this. There's stuff to dredge up. We got us another citrine ring. Oh yeah, wood. That's what we need, baby. late. Oh, I didn't realize how late it was. Oh, it's late. What is that? What is that? I need to know. Oh! Oh, it's just making our panic go up like crazy. And now one of the fish is on us. I burned out my engine. I didn't mean to burn out my engine, I was just trying to escape the fucking big fish. Your ship is dashed to pieces. You slip beneath the surface and join the uncountable souls lost to the depths. Load last save. We died. Well, I think I'm gonna call this here, because I don't know where we are now. What's in our... Okay, so we're the last time we slept. So the only thing we lost was a couple pieces of wood and uh, and a, uh, a weird fish. All right, good to know. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to call this here for now. And uh, I'm going to edit this later tonight and try to get some episodes up on Patreon. Which, if you didn't know we have, we have a Patreon. So yeah. Anyway, have a nice night, everybody. I'll see you.